Game started. Coach 999. Okay, well, I think it's time for E4. See what Coach plays. C5, a Sicilian. Okay, one of the E6 Sicilians. Could be a Khan or a Taimanoff. Or none of the above. Let's see. It's just attacking that pawn, so I guess I will defend it. I make, maybe it's still time enough if he plays knight c6, but this is a um, hmm, yeah, more of a Skaveningen setup here. Okay, he hasn't played the knight orf move, so I have knight to b5 as a possible move at some time. Let's see, you can also play g4 or g5. <laughs> the Keras attack. Let's try it. Now he goes for the Nidorf move order, but I've already gotten this uh, g5 move in, so... Well, I'm obviously not going to castle kingside, or <laughs> maybe I won't castle at all, and he's attacking over here. Let's see, if he pushes on, that's okay, because this is not, uh, not a problem. He is um, f2 pawn, f7 pawn is weak right now, but can I uh, get a piece on it, other than the queen? Queen has a couple squares that you go to. Like I could play Queen F3 here and then maybe um, H, H5 and G6. Might be interesting. And uh, yeah, this this pawn is adequately defended. Let's um, get the bishop off the back rank first before I play Queen F3 so I can castle to the queen side if I need to. Okay, and he takes over this diagonal. It's encouraging me to play pawn to f3 to support this pawn. But, um, you know, maybe I will get the queen out first because I don't have to play pawn to f3 right away. It's true he can kick the knight, but the queen defends that pawn too. Then I can play f3 next to defend the e-pawn. Okay, he kicks the queen with the knight. That's a bit annoying. Let's see. So if I go queen to f4, as long as I still have the f3 move, this knight can come here to g6. Huh? But, uh, well, it might be a target on g6. So it's not too bad. What else could I try? Or I could just drop straight back and defend this way. I just still need to <clears throat> hold on to this um, e-pawn for defensive purposes in case he kicks my knight. I'm going to play f3 next. Or maybe, maybe f4. Kick that knight back. F4, knight to g6, pawn to h5. He could come in here, here, here. He has to go back to um, e7. Can't get any of those other squares. And um, I could just castle queenside next to put this rip behind my knight and opposite his queen. Can't be too bad. Yeah, so he kicks the knight. Do I want the knight over here or over here? The knight on um, H or A. The knight on A4 is subject to queen harassment with queen A5. So I guess knight comes back this way. That also adds some support to this knight. Kind of blocks in my bishop, though. That's that's a bit, maybe a problem. 
Anyway, if he tries to take advantage of this pin on the pawn by playing f5, I take on passant, I think. Okay, but he just developed a knight. So can I play f4 here? Kick this knight back. Where is it going? He could go to... Uh, he can go to this square now. That's the problem. Okay, so let's bring this knight over here. Get it out from um, <laughs> where it was uh, in the way of the bishop. Um, take that square away from his knight. And, uh, yeah, he's going to have pressure on the C file. True, but let's um, kick the knight. Kick that knight first. And take off the knight. And, you know, maybe strange as it looks, maybe I'll just castle uh, kingside here because uh, in spite of the fact that it's all open here, um, he's got attacking lines on the queen side. C2 is not well defended. He can kick that knight away with a move like um, E. E4 there. So let's um, bring a rook over to help defend the uh, C2 pawn. Maybe I'll play C3 here. So, Coach is playing an interesting game here. I don't entirely believe it. Uh, okay, so he's going to Fianchetto his bishop. So, if I play c3 now, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes. Um, he can try and get something going there. Let's castle first. Get something going on the long diagonal. Now play c3. So the pawn supports the knight. take with the pawn here. If I take with the uh, rook, can he take the uh, knight? Bishop takes. Takes the knight. I could take the rook and then he could take the bishop with check. It's no good. So let's take with the pawn then. And I need to push on with uh, f, f4 here pretty quickly, f5. Okay, he's just going to open things up and keep his king in the center. That's interesting. Let's uh, unpin this pawn. Let's bring my queen over here to support c3 in the knight, and then I will push on with um, f4 here and try and open up some lines towards his king, just as he is trying to open up lines towards my king. So if I play f5 and he plays e5, do I move the knight or do I push on with uh, f6 hitting his bishop? Probably move the knight. I think um, this pawn is defended adequately. And the knight can be useful on uh, f3 perhaps. Yeah, it's interesting. He's got his pieces... Um, <clears throat> Well, he's got some of them active, but I don't quite see how his attack is coming together here. His queen's not participating. He's got both his rooks active. This knight, maybe he needs to bring the knight into the game. Knight to uh, c5 looks like a good move here. Because I'm not too sure how... Well, I know how I'm proceeding. I'm proceeding with f5. i got to get that in, kind of regardless. Okay, so he lines up with his queen on the um, on that pawn. So that's how he gets his queen in the game. Let's see. I can um, defend for one more move. I'm playing my queen up to d3. Ah, but that runs into knight c I should have remembered that knight c5 idea rather. Knight c5 hits my queen and adds more pressure to e4 here. So 
Hmm, that's not so good. Oh, but his, his rook is hanging. <laughs> okay, so calm down and calculate. That's the, the answer. So queen d3 maybe is okay hitting his rook. His rooks are not coordinated because his king never castled, so they're not, uh, not speaking with each other. But they are active, which can be compensation sometimes. Okay, so he drops back. Now, can he play knight c4 now? That's, that's a problem. So let's move the knight out of the way, maybe. Can I sacrifice over here or something? Probably not. The bishop covers the uh, c5 square, so now knight c5 is not happening. He's hitting my knight. Okay, let's um, defend the knight and attack his rook. My queen is hitting the. Um, my queen is hitting this pawn. I don't believe this. He's sacrificing the exchange here for no, no reason I can see. That knight was not doing a whole lot. So so, just taking that knight off, for a rook. I don't see as that uh, helped. I don't see as that helped uh, Black's position here. So yeah, he had kind of a promising position. It seems to have gone downhill. So queen takes uh, d6. Is that a move? He can play rook takes c3. Rook takes, bishop takes. Okay, now he goes there. So that kind of forces my hand. Um, he's threatening to just uh, take here. He probably could have taken already. But, uh, well, if I take on c3, I'm hitting his rook, and he can't... Um, If he plays rook to, um, oh, he's got a check. Ah, 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 that was the idea. <laughs> well, I walked into that one. Okay, uh, interesting. So do I have anything? Can I attack anything of my king? No, nah, that's, that's losing. Okay, I will uh, resign. Good game, uh, coach. I will uh, White resign. upload this and do a postmortem.